everybody, it's Catherine from Jen Catherine and Books and I'm here today for a quick TBR for Thriller-a-thon um, that took some saying it's the summer edition of Thriller-a-thon uh, which has been created by uh, Harriet Rosie and uh, I've not come across Harriet's channel before so I'm really pleased that uh, I, I um, was reminded that there was a Thriller-a-thon going on by my lovely friend Kerry Ann from Woman vs Books. So yeah, go along and subscribe to Harriet's channel like I've just done. So there's five challenges for Thriller-a-thon. And the first one is to read a thriller you are most anticipating. Now for this I've chosen Bloody Women. I've, cho women. I've chosen a few on my Kindle because I need to get my t Kindle TBR down. Um, so this is by Helen Fitzgerald. I'll put the picture up here. And you may recall that um, I've recently read two of Helen Fitzgerald's uh, thrillers, The Devil's Staircase and The Exit. Both fantastic books. I love them both. She's an Australian author. And so I'm most anticipating picking up uh, another one of her books. So that's Bloody Women by Helen Fitzgerald. Number two, choose a book that's been on your TBR the longest. And so for this, I have chosen, um, I'll, again, I'll put another picture up here because it's from my Kindle. And this is a prescription for death. And it's the Ash Barton Manor Mysteries book two. Now this has been one of the longest on my Kindle TBR and uh, those have been around a while I recall that I read book one of the Ashburton Manor Mysteries in March's Mystery Madness. So I'm going to read book two for this this challenge. So that's a, a prescription for death by Selena Grace. Challenge three read most recently added to your TBR. So for this I am choosing a, um, a thriller that has not yet been released. It's going to be released this August. It's called The Ruin by Derv Dervla McTiernan. McTiernan, that's it. Um, it's by the Little Brown Book Group. It's coming out in August. And so I'm um, reviewing it from NetGalley for the publishers and it looks really good. It looks a right turner of the pages, shall we say, a page turner. Um, so that's the one that I'm reading for my most recent added to my TBR. I've only had it a couple of weeks. Challenge four, choose something with the best cover. So out of the ones that I was wanting to read and pick up for the Thriller-a-thon, I've chosen one of my newly acquired Barbara Pims. This is No Fond Return of Love. And I just love these old fashioned covers, either something Art Deco or something, you know, really uh, back in the day. And uh, I really like that one. There's just something about these old fashioned covers that I like. So this is no fond return of love. Um, not read any Barbara Pym before. She, um, this has been re-released, uh, Virago Modern Classics, um, because actually she was born in 1913 and passed away in 1980. And um, having a bit of a resurgence of her titles at the moment. So that's it for my favourite cover of those I want to read at the moment and the last challenge is revisit a thriller book or author so for this and I know it's a slim volume and it was one of these quick reads that you can pick up from Waterstones or wherever and um, Wrong Time Wrong Place by Sermon, Sermon? it's a Sunday you see it's a Sermon day Simon Koenig and uh, I'm going to reread this. I can't remember everything about it, but for a small uh, thriller, it didn't half pack a punch. That's what I do remember. And uh, you're hiking in the Scottish Highlands with three friends when you come across a girl. She's half naked, has been badly beaten, and she can't speak English. So that's the one for something I want to readdress. 
So there we go. They're the five that I've chosen for uh, next week's thriller a thon. Make sure you go and check out Harriet Rose's announcement video. And um, it'd be nice if you could join along too. So it runs between tomorrow, Monday, the 21st for a week. And uh, hoping to get these five books done um, within that time. David's looking at me going out. Is it not a week? Twentieth, isn't it? Is it twentieth tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Monday, whatever it is. <laughs> They're even look at my phone now. He's got me thinking. Yes, it's the twentieth tomorrow. It's the nineteenth today. <laughs> See, you can't rely on me to give you all the right information. Go over to Harriet's channel. She'll put you right. Anyway, nice to see you. I'll let you know how I'm doing next week with the reading. Bye for now. <laughs>